So, welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, I'm speaking to all social media marketing agency owners, and I'm talking about the top three niches that are desperate for social media marketing. Yeah. 9-11, I'm in the building, I fell in love with this feeling, I'm working, I'm never chilling, hustle like I got children, you niggas sweeter than cinnamon. I said welcome to a brand new video now as you guys can tell I've been very very consistent with my YouTube channel and I've actually been putting a lot of effort into it as opposed to before I would focus a lot on the quality and stuff like that don't get me wrong I have quality in my videos I would overthink a lot of stuff and at the end it would turn into analysis paralysis so today's video is gonna be a little bit shorter and I'm gonna hop on the computer here show you guys a couple slides the top three niches that I think every social media marketing agency owner should be going after this is also great for beginner entrepreneurs looking to get into social media marketing I know it can be very, very intimidating having to meet with business owners and approaching businesses, so I hope to make that a lot easier and make you a little bit more confident in approaching some of these niches. So, the top three niches for social media marketing um, here, I don't know why it says five. Um, I, don't know the, I don't know if that's a typo on my end, but um, yeah, so the top three niches for social media marketing. Uh, let's go ahead and hop right in it, right? So, why I chose these three niches, right? So, guys, I need you to really understand something. Um, when it comes to this, like social media, there are dozens of businesses, and I put here niches as well, that need or could use some form of social media marketing, right? So that isn't necessarily a good thing, that can also be a bad thing. Now that you guys realize that there are tons of businesses that need social media marketing, but that doesn't always mean that every business is good to work with, right? Um, we want ideal clients, um, because like I said here, weeding out the bad clients is just as important as finding good clients. There's nothing worse than dealing with a bad client, someone who's impatient, expects too much, um, or too needy. So like I said, finding clients that aren't good, it's just as good as finding clients who are good. Um, so it's very, very important that just because there are dozens of niches out there, that doesn't mean that you have to go into all of these. A lot of big agency owners would actually advise that you only go for two, like one to two niches, um, just so you can specialize in that. You have a lot of case studies in that particular area of field. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's dozens of businesses and niches that could use social media, but that doesn't mean that you need to take all those on, if that makes any sense, right? So, boom. These three niches are ideal because it's easier to bring them in ROI, um, and this an ROI means a return on investment, and this can either mean um, high, highly qualified leads or just very cheap leads, right? So these agencies, um, that are able to provide the best ROI are gonna get paid the most, you're gonna keep the most clients, and you're gonna be the one who um, can be able to help the client the most, right? And that's your job as an agency owner, is to aid to help the client, to help their business, right? So um, I chose these because they provide the best ROI um, in terms of either bringing cheap leads or highly qualified leads, right? So one thing I wanna point, right? A lot of these clients, or actually all the clients that I aim for and that you really should kind of target they're called only solution clients, right? So what does that kind of mean, you're probably asking. So only solution clients, and I'll kind of explain what it is here. They're the only solution to a specific problem. So right, let me show you here, right? So for example, do you need a haircut? What's the solution? Boom, a barber, a hair salon, a stylist, etc. right? So you know, do you have teeth pain or do you wanna have it get a tooth removed? What's the solution? Boom, a dentist, right? And the third one, do you need a wedding ring? Do you need a, you know, a wedding band or whatever? What's the solution? Boom, a jeweler, right? So these are kind of what I mean by only solution clients. These are clients that I wanna aim for because they're the only solution to a particular problem. If you're hungry, where do you go? A restaurant. If you want a beer, where do you go? A bar. For the most part, they're the only solution. Yes, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, these are clients that are only solution clients to a particular problem. And these are clients that I really wanna aim for because when you provide the only solution, there's no need of convincing people to come in, it's just convincing people to come to your particular barber, to your particular dentist, to your particular uh, whatever it is, uh, jeweler, right? So you don't have to convince people that they need to come to a jewelry um, because if they need a wedding band, no, you just need to convince them to come to our jeweler or to our dentist or to our gym, whatever your client is. So I always aim for only solution clients. Like I said, just focus on that. When a client prospect, if you're prospecting a client, focus on this question, ask yourself, is this an only solution, right? Boom, number one is gyms, right? So why do I choose gyms? So gyms are, one, they have a high LTV, so it's a lifetime value, right? And I think it's very, very good to be able to obtain things that kind of have a reoccurring sort of billing or income and stuff like that. So gyms, uh, subscription-based things like that. Um, gyms, obviously, they get billed every monthly, so the LTV is very high. Let's say a gym charges $30, 
$30 a month, right? 30 times 12. And then let's say they have, you know, 250 members in the gym. Boom. So you know what I'm saying? That's how you kind of attain the LTV and that's how um, their lifetime value is high. So it wouldn't be hard for them to pay you anything, you know, upwards of $1,000 um, for marketing. And um, like I said, one same thing, it's an only solution, right? So if you want to lose weight, if you want to build muscle, where do you go for the most part? A gym. Right, so a gym is so easy, um, and I really like a lot of gyms. Just really aren't that good with their marketing. I promise you, if you look for a local like private gym um, that does pretty well, um, you know they, they really aren't going to do that well with social media. And uh, just in general, it's really easy to get leads for gyms. You can easily provide so a bait or something that would kind of bring in people to the door can be, um, you know. Let's say uh, you can do a free a free week, a free month. You can do um, you know call now and get a you know get a one on one session with our personal trainer. Maybe you have a, a tanning inside of the gym, or you have like a some sort of massage person inside of the gym. You can kind of use that to leverage an offer. So you know come in and you can get a free consultation with our physical you know stuff like that. So it's very easy to kind of leverage and value stack offers when you're kind of offering a gym like i said either offering a free week or getting a free like body analyzer you can get a free nutrition plan or you can get a free massage or whatever it is it's very easy to value stack and uh, get a lot of traffic into the door for very very cheap um, which in turn can create a lot of sales right so Number two, right, and I have here restaurants. Now, for the most part, like I said, restaurants, same thing. It's the only solution. If you're hungry, where do you go? Most likely a restaurant, right? So um, it's very easy because one, a lot of restaurants just aren't that good um, with social media marketing and stuff like that. They typically aren't that good with, uh, if they're a little bit more high end, then obviously yes, but for the most part, local restaurants are not really that good with social media marketing. They can use a lot of help. Same thing with the restaurant, it's very, very easy to get clients because one, people are always gonna be hungry. If there's one thing that people love, it's food. So especially if you have a good restaurant, um, it's very easy to get people through the door. Same thing with like a value stack. You can even tell them, hey, you know, you can get a free beer or you can get a free dessert or get a free meal if you, you know, vote in this, I don't know, you know, stuff like that. You can create a whole bunch of offers to get people in. Um, and one of my favorite is obviously like a buy one, get one, or you can like, uh, you know, send us a message because you can do like a Facebook ad on sending a message. Send us a message of your favorite alcoholic beverage and you can come in and get it, like, you know, get it for free, right? So someone, you know, they, you know, they opt in or whatever and they say they like Bacardi or whatever, then they can come in and get a free drink, right? So it's very, very easy to value stack. You have a wide range of things. You can get, like I said, free appetizers, whatever it is. It's easy to create a bait to get a lot of people in and you see free food, like <laughs> who doesn't like free food, right? So it's very, very easy to get people in through the door. Same thing with the restaurants and gyms. It's a lot of people come in. And like I said, people are always going to be hungry. So it's not that hard to keep a customer. Um, if you like it one time, you're going to keep coming back. So it's very, very easy to get a um, lifetime customer so number three is real estate agents now same thing it's a one-time or one only solution right so if you need a house or you need to sell a house for the most part you know where do you go a realtor a real estate agent or a real estate agency firm right so um, it's very very easy because one like the money typically it, as, you know, as long as they're a good like you know real realtor as long as you're a good realtor money isn't the issue they can get quite a bit of money just on one sale or one deal with the house because real estate can get you a lot of money like that um and two they just don't know how to leverage social media marketing um and it's very very easy to target people who are looking for a new house who need to sell a house it's very easy to do that with facebook targeting and it's very easy to get them a lot of leads um and like i said it's very easy for them to pay you a thousand a thousand five hundred two thousand dollars um because you know if they're getting a lot of money you only need to get them one client for them to like 10 times know what you charge them. So it's very, very easy to charge people comfortably, especially when it comes to uh, uh, real estate, because you only need to get them like one client or one sale um, in order for them to, you know, make 10 times of what, you know, you're charging them. So it's very, very easy to get them an ROI. If you literally get them just one deal, you'll be straight. Um, and that's why it's very, very easy. Like I said, all it takes is one lead and that's all it takes for real estate agents. So that's why I really like them. Um, just the ROI is incredible and you can get them a lot of leads and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's a very, very short video. Thank you so much for watching. I know the uh, slides, I know the slides weren't very in depth like they usually are, but this time I really wanna just kinda like hit the point, hit the point, hit the point, and just kinda get you guys out of here. I hope you guys attain a lot of value. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm starting to upload every week, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So new videos every week, free knowledge. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you a part of the family. Uh, like I said, I'm sharing a lot of knowledge, and uh, as you saw here, just top three niches for any social media marketing agency. Um, for beginners, like I said, these are all easy ROI um, clients, and they're all 
one or only solution clients. So that's kind of the main points that I cover here. Um, easy ROI, it's easy to get a lot of traffic in and uh, they're only solution clients. Um, so that's kind of what I would kind of recommend. Obviously there's a lot of other only like solution clients. Like I said, I didn't cover any barbers or dentists or jewelers, but those are things that can also work well because they're only solution clients. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind next time you're looking for a client prospect kind of use it as a checklist and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. But that's pretty much gonna conclude it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and remember, only dreams to be dreams. I'm out, peace.